you about those. I want to show you how to hook a tree. I know I showed you before, but like I'm just going to show you again. And um, I want to show you some new rugs and I want to draw some patterns. So it's going to be like a chalk, chalk, chalk bowl kind of day. So let's get this tree growing right here. So I just kind of use whatever I got. I, I want to mention these yarns that Angela did not put those in because I just brought those out. I went out just to get myself a few yarns that I thought would do. And I got those yarns. So she didn't know to put them on the... So I'm going to just hook here. I'm going to hook my tree. So I'm going down. Lorna, what did you make today? Ginger cookies. Oh, they smell so good. How many did you make? Not enough. <laughs> no? Everybody's eating them? No, because I didn't have time because I cut them at home oh. and just put them in a container and brought them in. So They smell so good as soon as I walked in. So, so I thought next week I'll try them again because Mary's not here. Oh, yeah. And Roger. <laughs> and, you know oh, what, Roger's not Roger. here. Well, Roger's <laughs> going to be disappointed if he yeah. finds out anything was made when he exactly. wasn't here. We had leftover pizza. I made this pizza. I have a piece. Oh, it's so good with meatball on it. You have the Rob, one with Rob just brought me a piece more. Oh, it's delicious. Anyway, Robert said, he said, should I take all this pizza? Because we knew what we were having supper tonight. And I said, yes, because I've eaten it two nights. And he said, oh, Roger's not here and he's my best customer. <laughs> yeah, so it's delicious. Oh, so that's probably I, I, I hope like you like it. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. No, we just, like there was like four, three, three or four pieces. So he just said he couldn't eat it all. So I'm just putting my fleece in here. This is Adelia Burgess fleece. And you can find this on the website, this fleece. I don't think it's under new products, so sorry, you guys. We're very bad today. We do have some new products that we want to show you, but not, not these. So my roast was a fail. Oh, go on. I know. I don't know how you fail. How could you fail that roast? She did the roast in the slow cooker, yeah. like? All night. All night. And you put the French onion soup mix in it because there's nothing better. Yes. It tastes oh. delicious, but it's tough. Oh. <laughs> how could it be tough? I don't know. In the slow cooker. Do you put it in like, like in the slow cooker, like raw, like, and then let it. Like... I put it in sometimes frozen raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can pan fry it a bit beforehand and sear it. You can do that, but I never do that. So then I was trying to Google how you tenderize or. Well, that usually it's tenderizes like... it. I know. But it's how a new could slow... it be tough? But it's a new slow cooker. So I'm wondering well, if it's like the air fryer. I like the did old you cheap have... air fryer. Maybe I should have used the cheap slow cooker, but Rich bought me a really nice one and. Did you have, did you have um, it on high or on low? I had it on low because it was cooking all night. Oh yeah, you would think that would do it really. But maybe uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it was just a bad cut. Try it again. <laughs> Someone said you have to turn on the slow cooker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be me. I'm not the best, at, as you know, at cooking. So then I go home and we're just like, I, I'm glad he didn't do it. Who's going to put hot sauce in my roast? Oh, I and wouldn't I put love, hot sauce in the roast. I, you could put it on it. I love, like, spicy, but I'm like, my roast, I do not want hot sauce. You want a roast beef dinner? I want a roast, yeah. Yeah. I need sort of a brown color. Or I could use a gray for the trunk. Could use a plum. I'm going to put this plum in here in the field. My husband, because you know I don't cook. Um, he put it in, in the oven like about two two fifty. Yeah, cooks all afternoon. And Same as a slow cooker. It just, falls yeah, apart. it just falls apart. Did you have? Did you? Could you cut it? Oh, I went home and Rich had it all. It, it stringy like, but it's it's too it's too chewy, and that was not yeah. what I wanted. Ah, oh. like it's tough. I have some. I'll give you some. To try it. All right, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Really, she didn't say no thanks for my cookie though no <laughs> no yeah let's why don't you bring me some next time <laughs> <laughs> oh so i'm just mixing my greens here and then i just want to go get my brown or i could use a gray should i use a gray or a brown in between here 
Like there's gray. That looks pretty good. And there's a little tree for you. It's just so easy. Someone wants to know if you had plenty of liquids. I did. I had like a quarter of the thing full of water. I yeah, that's that. I I just don't know what happened, Ange, because it's Neither usually. Do I, and I was so excited. I'm <laughs> sorry, because we told you how to do it. We didn't give you. I don't know what happened. I can't imagine. Usually, the thing I don't like about slow cookers, honestly, is that everything tastes to me. Spaghetti tastes like roast beef, and roast beef tastes like spaghetti. Like everything turns to mush, so there's not a lot of. I find it's hard to keep the flavor in things, like doesn't I don't know does that make sense like not really spaghetti tastes like roast beef but just like there's no I don't find there's a lot of distinction between the flavors of things like the green peppers taste like carrots and the carrots taste like green peppers it's all sort of stewed up and mushed together <laughs> I just had an awful thought because you know what now I don't like their washing dishes <laughs> They say I don't wash the dishes. Good, no. But that's not it, Lorna. Okay. Just that checking. is not it. Just checking. So this is one of our new yarns. And this is our New Zealand stream. And we've got really dark colors in New Zealand stream. And I'm excited to see them. So I'm going to put some of this in my tree. Yeah, no, it's not that, Lorna. But I know. I know you're concerned. But Lorna, do you know what? Guess what I'm getting, Lorna? Dishwasher? I'm getting a dishwasher. No way. I am. I bought it. But I got to get someone to put it in for me. After all these years. After all these years. I've n I don't have a don't have a dishwasher. I've never had a dishwasher. For a while, we <laughs> never had a microwave either. Robert didn't like microwaves. For a while, when the kids were little, we had a microwave. We put it in the barn. Do you remember? <laughs> they were scared of it. <laughs> the kids. <laughs> the kids would have to go out to the barn to pop their microwave. No, to go out to pop the popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> Same as a barbecue. Oh, come on down. We're having a barbecue. You go down. It's in our oh, wood store. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good, though. It's good when you cook in the wood store. But oh, yeah, yeah we're ordering a dishwasher. Oh, I bought the dishwasher. It's actually here, but I'm just waiting for the guy to come. He has to fix the cupboard. So I'm like, my kitchen is pretty small, right? I know. So where are you going to put it? So you know where my garbage is? Yep. I'm going to put it right there because that cupboard is kind of wasted. Yeah. And then I'm just going to buy a little garbage can. Because all I have yeah, in there is my yeah. garbage bags. and Yeah. So I'll lose my drawer, though, for my dishcloths. Hate to lose that. I have a different dishwasher and never use it. You never use it, no. What? I know. I just have the time. It just seems this is easy. It's only two of us. Right? Yeah, I know. Ugh. I know. Well, I just decided it was time. I also, I don't know, I just kind of thought it's almost odd in a kitchen not to have one. Well, you know what I they say. I hate this, this I gray. I don't know if this is true. Out. Look at it, it's awful. But yeah. They say, yeah, I don't like it either. No. Um, <laughs> you know, at first I thought it was going to look nice, but it didn't. No, it's awful. Um, they say now when people build a house, they put two dishwashers in. I heard that. What? So, that yeah, they keep one with clean and one with dirty. Yeah. Less cupboards. Yeah. Right? You just keep your cl so clean you dishes. You pull them out of the dishwasher when you want to use them, like clean dishwasher. Yeah. And you put them in the, in the other dishwasher. I've heard this too. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. Uh, yeah, no, people do it. Uh, it kind of makes sense. A whole lot less cover space. Mm -hmm. A lot of people aren't putting in top cupboards, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's open shelves. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, next week you'll be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Watch. I know. Well, no, you know what happens at our place? We get a dishwasher, but then you put the dishes in. But if you don't, like, it takes us a while to fill it up. And then I'm like, what's that smell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. like, oh, oh it's the dishes yeah, in the dishwasher. No, you gotta... I don't have many dishes. Like, I have eight plates, and that's what I have is eight plates. So, you guys are never going to come to my house for a meal ever, are you? But I probably talk about not. My no. Stinky dishes. <laughs> and my tough roast. Stinky dishes and a tough roast. And my cat hair. Dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe we'll just have a glass of wine. It is clean. I know. It is. We're just so teasing you. Come to your house. Oh. Have you been to her house? I don't think I've ever been to her house. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go up someday. She'll show up. She'll be shocked. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Don't show up. <laughs> don't show up. I Call. need I need at least a day's notice. I know. Because so you got to put everything away. And then Rich is like, it's like, a, he likes, I like when we have company because you're like a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Does he not have stuff out everywhere? No. 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 I don't either. I'm with Rich. I have little piles. Yes. I can imagine you do. A lot of people are like that. Do you have little piles, Lorna? Right now, because I got laundry I got to do and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Lorna like with tires. piles. I don't have Oh, yeah, I know. My kitchen table's full of Is stuff it? I got to get rid of. Because and... everything's in my living room was for the cottage. Right. And so now you brought room, it all down? Well, we'll still have stuff there. So Yeah. If we went to your house right now, I bet you'd be like, no, it's a not. dishcloth and a plate. No, it's not. I got I, I got to iron, iron my stuff and sitting on the chair. Oh, that's right. You iron every <laughs> table full of stuff, stuff I got to get rid of. No. Okay. This is the New Zealand stream. This is what it hooks up like. It's a gorgeous dark green. Get in here and we'll show it off. I don't know what the name of it is, but Angel's got them all written down. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. So there, I don't know what I'm putting in for the stems, but this red is also a good dark New Zealand stream red. And we're going to put that in here too. Not in the tree, but just down the road a little bit. I'm going to buy some new yarn today. I've got to, I need, I just got to replenish my staff, a, little, a stash a little bit. I love how this yarn hooks up and it's so durable and strong. Oops. I feel like Robert's haunting me. I can hear him on the <laughs> other side of the wall. Okay. Uh, how thick is the New Zealand stream? Um, it's like a it's a stream, so it's one ply, but it's like about thickness of a three ply yarn, I guess. So I'm going to now blend it in with the red here. Sari, because we used that last week, the balls of Sari. Okay, now I feel like drawing some patterns. We might not get to show you the rugs this week. We might do that another time, but I'm going to draw a few patterns. So let's draw. I got to show the two above the door, though. Oh, sure. Show What's them. up there? Yeah. Those are just. So this is just going to be like a hand-drawn, one-of-a-kind pattern. If you want it, call. If you want this pattern, we'll send it to you. And if you don't get the first one, maybe we can draw you another one. Just depends on how it turns out. I need to get a fresh Sharpie. That's just a little dull. It's not bad, but... Okay, so I kind of want to, I'm kind of thinking of this as a neutral abstract.
So I can see this in grays and creams and greens and browns. Ooh, got a little child out there, it sounds like. Okay. And then I'm just going to come up here. Right there like that. And that's it. That's for that one. So it is uh, abstract for neutrals. I mean, you could do it in any color, I suppose. I'm just going to hold that up for you and let you have a look at it. <clears throat> You can't see the whole thing. Too much light behind. Okay, too much light. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the floor. Oh, I do like that. It's really simple, but it's, it's beautiful. So now let's do something different. How much time do we have left, Lorna? Uh, about 10 minutes. Okay, great. I've got lots of time. Oh, there's the cover of that. Sorry, yeah. just don't step on it, you guys. You might trip. If you were scared to put a marker on your backing, like the Sharpie, yeah, you would just draw it on paper. You could then, draw it on paper and then, and then trace just, it if you want. Just get the idea you like and then yeah. go from there. Yeah, definitely you could. So I, also I think that one that we just did would make an amazing floor rug. So maybe I'll do another one now that I think would make an amazing floor rug. Okay, so that's sort of a... Kind of a center medallion. So this is kind of going to be a modern play on a traditional rug. I like how the flowers go over the border. Yeah, me too. That's really nice. So what am I doing here? I think I'll... Just kind of... I, I don't know. I think that's enough, but... <clears throat> it's just a little piece of me that wonders about this. Yeah. 
you know. Not sure about that. You could leave it in or take it out. Okay, so that's uh, I think you could do that. I'm just thinking corals. I don't know why I'm seeing corals in the flowers, but I'm just going to do something else here. I'm just going to add another line. So the we'll break it twice. Maybe make that one not perfectly straight too. Just break it up a little bit. Shall we do another one? Okay. So if you'd like to have a pattern like that. We want something some people are looking for something big to make and I just thought so there's caught another one. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Um I'm gonna do one more. Just feel like doing these, huh? I called Angela before I came in and said, can you get me a couple of yards of linen? Okay. These could be poppies. They could be sort of tulips. I mean, you just choose the color, right? And then you're. All right. I kind of feel like this is the village garden.
And then over here, we're just going to put some sheds. going to try and close off the areas here like so that this becomes water and it's clear where the water is and where the land is. There's a sister house right here, brother house right here. We need a fence. Going down to the water. Mm -hmm. That water needs something. So where would you stop the water? Uh, I would stop it about right here. Like I'd just have greens going to about right here. That's why I was putting these angles in so that people would know where to. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of where I'd stop the water. But. I mean, I don't want a boat in here myself. I just want like a big. But you could easily put a boat in here if you want it. There we go. I think that's it for this one. Maybe a little cross hatching on the roof over here. And we'll just call that Wallflower Cove. All right. How long is a runner? This is uh, 60 inches wide, five feet. I kind of want to, I kind of want to do a runner, but, um, uh, maybe i'll do that another time but this is not long enough so this is this one here and so those are three new patterns that we have for the wall out out in the front just some just something different something fun and uh, we're just playing around here and i think that's it for this week what the what all oh, the new zealand streams all oh, right okay okay so well, they, actually, these colors are perfect for this pattern and actually really good for this pattern. So we have some new New Zealand stream in and in darker colors. So this one is called Gecko right here. And that was the yarn that I was using earlier. This one is Chili Pepper. This one is Blue Granite. And the dark green, Emerald City. I like these names. These are good steely blue blood orange which is really the color of a blood orange too isn't it and uh sienna and blue kingdom icebox plum oh. woodland gathering that's in reference to the carlos williams poem i think uh, I got, he leaves his wife a note to say we saw he ate the plums in the icebox it's a beautiful little poem and uh, void black so these are all great colors now they for mixing they're really good for mixing see how those blues mix together how this red and orange mix together the greens are not so strong for mixing but they're good but this let's see those are good together, not for mixing, but to be, to be beside each other. But these are very earth, like very, um, these are very earthy and these are very sort of deep landscape colors that, and the plum too works with that really good and, and a good heavy black. So that's it for today, folks. That was like, you got, when I start drawing, I get lost and I'm sort of was like, I forgot what I was even doing. So I, 
forgot to show you these and Angela reminded us. And next week I'll show you some of the new rugs, hopefully. And we'll do some more work on our little landscape here. We're just having a little fun with that. I'm going to go get myself some new yarns. I'm going to start a new rug, um, a four by four, and I'll probably use that for the inspiration sessions this month. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I don't know. I'm going to work on it anyway. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. And remember that when you share rug hooking, you just never know what you're sharing. You could be sharing friendship with someone, community, um, helping them build their creativity. You just don't know what you're sharing when you share rug hooking. So please do share it. Teach someone how to hook rugs. Take care. Thank you for watching.